Imagine a robot so small it can fly undetected, hover like a hummingbird, take pictures, and send images back to a computer. While engineers at the University of Delaware are trying to build just such a machine for the U.S. military, something no one has ever done before. It looks like a school science project. Well, it is, sort of. These engineers at the University of Delaware are applying the science of biomimicry to create something we've never seen before, a robotic flying machine with the speed and maneuverability of birds and insects. It starts with a simple model, something you might see in a hobby shop, but this is much more than a kid's toy. It's one of several prototypes designed to work out the immense challenges of mimicking flying creatures we see in nature. We like to uh, use the motivation of biology to de develop machines, which uh, in some sense do have the similar behaviors as uh, biological systems. Dr. Sunil Agrawal and his team are trying to create mini robotic birds that could be used for surveillance, mini spies in the sky that can fly undetected. But right now, they're just trying to make it fly. And the road to success is a long and bumpy one. Apart from testing the tail in this bird, we are also trying to see the stiffness of the wings by putting these wires uh, across. The flight of the bird is a function of, its, of, its, uh, of the stiffness of the wings as well. And so by putting uh, wires in cross, we are able to uh, fly it in different wing stiffness configurations and to see the effect of that. And it's uh, kind of like the insect wing where you have veins going through the wings. And it makes the wings stiffer at some points and uh, slightly flexible on the other points. Mimicking the motion of flying insects or birds is extremely difficult. The wings move in a figure-eight motion, something no existing aircraft can accomplish. Simulating this complex aerodynamic action would give a machine unprecedented maneuverability. Even the most advanced aircraft today can't compare in maneuverability to birds or insects. Airplanes don't flap or rotate their fixed wings in a figure-eight motion. So despite its high speed, jets like the F-18 Hornet will never live up to its name. So you could say they're starting from scratch, trying to follow the age-old dream of flying like a bird down a path of trial and error, one that will hopefully lead to the secret formula. Using computers, the team can create mathematical models on which to build designs. Animation like this helps them measure the forces of lift and thrust and visualize graphically any changes they apply to designs. Large models of wing designs are placed in a homemade fog chamber to gather data on force and torque. Well, the main purpose of this robotic flapper is to allow us to test different designs of wings and also different motion of wings. All right. But you can see the wings can flap up and down, and that's controlled by this motor. There's a bevel gear in here. You can have the wing rotate up and down like this. You can have it turn back and forth like this. You can also have it twist like this. A fog machine fills the chamber with a smoke-like cloud. High-intensity lasers shoot light into the chamber, while a high-speed camera takes pictures every 250 millionths of a second. And that's what our computer program uses to compute the uh, velocity field around the wing. In this image, you can more clearly see the individual particles. Again, it's what the stuff that looks just like static. And the program will take each individual spot of smoke look at where it is in the first frame, or frame A, look at where it is in frame B, and then based on that, it will compute a velocity vector, which is indicative of where the air is moving in that particular area in the image. Choosing the right material is critical. Using lightweight mylar and rugged carbon tubing will make the wing strong enough to lift the bird, and the frame durable enough for the occasional crash landing. Right now, we are using mylar. It's very light. It's super lightweight material. It has very high tensile strength, as you can see. It's a material that is used on uh, real planes as well. One big advantage of building these things out of uh, carbon tubes is the resilience. As you have seen, I mean, uh, we have flown it, and it, it even crashed it, yeah, into the wall, and it won't break. Bounce off the walls. Yeah, it can bounce off the walls, and this is probably the, the perfect material for building these birds. Despite its early stage, the project has already received support from the U.S. Air Force. The ultimate goal is to send these bird bots mounted with cameras into enemy territory, where they can hover like hummingbirds, maneuver through small spaces like caves or buildings, and send video images back to a remote computer. But the team still has plenty of kinks to shake out and is years away from meeting that challenge.
but with each trial and error, they get one step closer to creating a flying machine no one's ever built before. Yeah.